Hi everyone, welcome to Learn Mechanical. Today our concept is shear modulus of elasticity and Pisan's ratio. First of all, the modulus of rigidity represents the, the rigidness of the material. How the material would be rigid? If the modulus of rigidity is high, then the material having a high rigidness when we applying stress. As an example, steel has the modulus of rigidity 75 gigapascal and the aluminium has 28 gigapascal. If we applying a same amount of shear stress to these materials, we can get the different strain values. The aluminum can distort easily than the steel in the shear stress because it has the low modulus of rigidity. Hence, the modulus of rigidity is equal to shear stress is divided by the shear strain within the elastic limit. In the preceding section, we have seen about the elastic limit and the next concept is Poisson's ratio. For the common material, the Poisson ratio exists from 0 to 0 0.5. Poisson's ratio is equal to lateral strain is divided by the linear strain. As an example, we consider the material which having a the length and diameter. Now, we apply the tensile stress to this element and the change in length is the linear strain and the change in diameter is the lateral strain. So, by dividing the lateral and linear strain, we can get the Poisson's ratio. The cork which has a 0 Poisson's ratio and the rubber has 0.5 Poisson ratio. So, cork is so stuff, whatever we apply a stress to the cork, it cannot deform in a lateral way. But in a rubber, if we apply a small stress, it can deform in linear and lateral. We have the relation to calculate the Young's modulus and shear modulus and the Poisson's ratio. G is equal to the Young's modulus is divided by twice that of the 1 plus gamma. Gamma is Poisson's ratio. I concluded this session and we will see in soon. Thank Thank you. Comment about this video whatever you have in mind. It will useful to improve my videos. Thank you.